Hey guys, it's Taylor G coming at you with another technique of the week. And this week we're going to talk about chord transitions. Now, chord transitions can kind of be a funky process if you're new to maneuvering around the guitar and memorizing chord shapes. However, I'm going to share a tip with you that's going to help you be able to memorize the way certain chords look, but also be able to make those smooth and seamless transitions and really sound like you know exactly what it is that you're doing. We always want to understand what it is that we're doing, so sometimes it requires us to slow down a little bit, look at what our fingers are doing, and really realize that, hey, like, I don't have to do too much. Work smarter, not harder. So, a lot of times when you talk about chords, right, some chords share notes in common, right? So if they share certain notes in common, would you really have to pick all of your fingers up in order to formulate the next chord? No, not really. Again, work smarter, not harder. So let's take a look at an example of what that looks like. So let's look at A major. Now to formulate an A major chord, of course, we're gonna put our second, third, and fourth finger down on the D, G, B, second fret, right? So that sounds like this. Okay. Now, if I told you to play A minor, what would you do? Would you lift all of your fingers up to go here? I wouldn't. <laughs> to be honest, the only difference between A major and A minor is one note or one finger. So going back to A major, all I would have to do to go to A minor is lift my fourth finger up and put my first finger down. A major, A minor. So you see how simple that was? Is literally one note. So let's go ahead and let's look at another example of what that would be like. Let's do E major. Now, if I told you to play E minor, all you would do is remove your first finger from the G string, first fret, to an open G. E major, E minor. You see how simple that is? Remember, A major, A minor, E major, E minor. Let's take it up a little bit. But before we take it up a notch, I want to show you a more difficult example when going from D major to D minor. A lot of people will get confused and try to pick all their fingers up and go from D to D minor, D to D minor. However, you can probably guess at this point what would happen. Let's look at D and see what note is actually changing when you go from D to D minor, or what two notes are actually changing when you go from D to D minor. Now, looking at D, all I would do is pick these two fingers up and put your second finger on the G string second fret, first finger on the E string first fret. Your third finger is the finger that never changes. So it might feel a little funky at first, but that feels a lot better than having to go from versus just keeping that third finger down D to D minor. So every chord progression is not probably going to go from A major, A minor, E major, E minor. So let's look at a more difficult example as to how this would work. Now, if I told you to go to C, right? 
how would you go to A minor? Literally, the only difference between C and A minor is one note. And that one note resides or rests upon that third finger that you have on the A string third fret. All you would do is lift that finger up and put it down on the second fret of the G string, right? So then you have A minor. Now, if I told you to go back to C, you wouldn't have to lift these two fingers up. You would just go from C to A minor. C to A minor. Okay? Now, I really hope that this technique helps you to be able to make your transitions more seamlessly. Now, this might not work all the time. Some chords, you're going to have to reset your fingers and know exactly where, the, where it is that you're going. However, this helps you to be able to look and troubleshoot. What am I doing mechanically to make this easier? Work smart, not hard. Guitar can be a very fun instrument. It doesn't have to be as frustrating as some people make it out to be. I am Taylor G. Shout out to my Fender fam for having me. Shout out to all my G's out there and keep on rocking out. Bye.